a holiday, but he got a hangover from taking it. Oh, this looks like Sing Sing. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> what are you worrying about? Worried? I ain't worried. This wish I was back in Brooklyn playing the Lois Pitkin, that's all. Good morning, Chula. Morning. Tell Dr. Zabo I am here, and I bring two white visitors. I tell Master. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, that's me. Master. Now, what is it, Chula? Why do you disturb me? The girl, she is here. Since when does she have to be announced? She has two men with her. White men. White men? Who are they? I not know, Master. Come on, Doogie, let's go. The doctor's probably busy, and besides, I forgot something at the hut. What? I forgot to stay there. I'm getting out of here. Relax, Cuckoo. You want to get off this island, don't you? Sure, I want to get off the island. Well, the doctor's going to help us get off, isn't he? Yes. Dr. Zabe was a very brilliant man. Brilliant man, huh? Anybody who live in a creep joint like this must be a moronic idiot. Good morning. I'm Dr. Zabor. Welcome to my creep joint. Oh, gosh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Idiot. I didn't mean to call you creep joint a creep joint. Oh, I think nothing of it. Doctor, I would like you to meet my friends. Yes? Hi, Doc. I'm Duke Mitchell. It's my partner, Sammy Petrillo. We were on our way to do a thing. Don't I know you from someplace? I don't think so. Psst. Hey, Dookie, come here. I think I know where you know this guy from. Where? Ain't this the fellow that goes around with the hands and the faces, biting people on the neck and wearing capes? You're crazy. Watch out for bats! Wait a minute, I'll prove it to you, watch. Dr. Zaber? Yes? Would you do me a favor? What is it? Make a face. What? Thanks. See? What did I tell you? Now go over and apologize. I ain't gonna do it. Come on, you embarrassed me. Go over and apologize. Come on. Dr. Zaber? Yes? What do you go around scaring little children for? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Don't mind him, Doc. He thinks you're the guy that goes around biting little kids on the neck, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Doctor, my friends fell out of a plane and landed on the island. They would like to get back to civilization. I told them you could help them. That's possible. Thank you, Doctor. It may take several days to make arrangements. In the meantime, please, accept my hospitality. Allow me to furnish you with suitable clothes. Gee, thanks, Doc. But no capes, huh? Oh, <laughs> Chula! Yes, Master. Take this man to my room. Yes, Master. Pick out anything you want from my wardrobe. When you have changed, Chula will bring you to the study. Follow Chula. Come. A most interesting cranium. Strange, but interesting. Really think so? Oh, what a charming compliment. It was very thoughtful for you to bring this man here. I'm sure I can help them. I was hoping you would. I would do anything for you in my power. Please, Dr. Zabor. I'll be in the laboratory, doctor. Why do you treat me so coldly, my dear? You know I love you. I want you. Now, what is wrong? Why do you not accept my love? Please, Doctor, must we go over that again? Yes, we must. You shall love me. Certainly nice of you to fix us up like this, Doc. Yeah, I always wanted a Palm Beach suit, thanks. Very happy to do it. It's quite a drugstore you got here, Doc. This is my laboratory. Laboratory? No kidding. Hey, Duke, look. 
Looks like the monkey house in the Bronx Zoo, doesn't it? <laughs> Only smaller, of course. They're my guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? They look like monkeys to me. <laughs> they are monkeys. Silly boy. They are so monkeys. Certainly they're monkeys. But they are also guinea pigs, for the reason that I use them in my experiments. Do you understand? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, Doc, what's this? Strepta cockeye. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Hello, Strepta. Hiya, cockeye. <laughs> Don't mind, my friend. He has a one-syllable brain. I can see that. What kind of experiments are you making, Doctor? Oh, I'm performing a series of experiments in evolution. Evolution? What's evolution? Scientists have proven that all living things originated in a process of evolution. They also know that there is a growth force that tends to make genetic changes physiologically and morphologically. Chimpanzees and gorillas are the highest members of the ape family and are the ancestors of man. Darwin, in his provisional hypothesis of pangenesis, assumes that every living cell contains a gemule, which is a hypothetical granular. I have found the chemical formula that simulates the growth force. And when nature takes years, I can, in a matter of hours, make a complete embryonic metamorphosis, both physiological and morphological. Do you understand? Well, uh... Sure. What? Yeah. You mean you understood him? Uh-huh. What'd he say? What'd he say? Well, he was just trying to tell you that due to the great lines of the cerebium, which have been perplexed by the fact of where the last type of dog had its first origin, you cannot confuse tyrannical and spasmodic conditions when it is inevitable Shut that up. he is a satellite of inconvenience. Shut but up! no embryonic physical morphosis and it's in this... Memphis, period. Master, Pepe Bordeaux here to see you. And in conclusion, I'd like to add that if you took the embryonic metamorphosis, the only thing... Shut you... up! Well, what's he so mad about? Oh, Ramona isn't mad. She just wants to play. Come, I'll show you. Well, Ramona, do you like our friends? Do you want to come out? No, don't let her out. Don't let her out. Oh, Ramona's a pet. She's very tame. Watch. All right, Ramona. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Ramona. That's a good girl. Come on out now. Come on. That's a good girl. I want you to meet my friends. Shake hands with Dookie. Shake hands. Hi, Ramona. Good girl. And now I think I want you to kiss Sammy. No, no, no. Get her out of here. Get her. I don't want to know. I don't, I don't want to know, though. Get her out of here. Oh, she won't hurt you, Sammy. <laughs> you know something, Dookie? What? This looks a little like a raging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pepe has come for some acid for his batteries, Nona. Very well, Doctor. Come on, Ramona. That's a good girl into your cage. That's a good little girl. All right, Pepe. Thank you. This is Pepe Bordo. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Pepe. Hi, Pepe. How are you, Mr. Bordo? Uh, Pepe is representing the law on the island. Oh, a cop, huh? As you call them, a cop. My friends are from America. How did you get here? There has been no boat for months. Oh, we just dropped in. <laughs> <laughs> they parachuted from a plane. Oh. Pepe has the only means of outside communication on the island, a small wireless outfit. Gee, maybe you can get us off this island, wireless some passing ship or something. Yeah, you know, Morse code. What does that mean? Well, my transmitter only carries to the neighboring islands, a little over a hundred miles. But some ship may pick it up. I shall try. Oh, thanks a lot. Gee, that'll be peachy. Here you are, Pepe. Oh, thank you. And thank you to the doctor. My pleasure. Gentlemen, it had been a pleasure. Same. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. too. And don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I see you to the door. <laughs> wow, it'll be great if we can get a ship to stop here, won't it? Sure will. The sooner the better. Gee, Nona, why don't you tell us there was a wireless outfit on this island? I... I just didn't think, I guess. Well, if the ship stops here, we can go right out to Guam. 
Gee, honey, what's the matter? Nothing. Come on, baby, don't feel that way. Come on, baby, smile. It's getting awful sticky around here. What are you on? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's pretty cute, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? something? I don't like the way that Dr. Zaber looked at you a couple of times tonight. And do you know something? I don't think Dr. Zaber liked the way you looked at me a couple of times tonight either. Well, it's just too bad. I don't know if I like the idea of living there or not. Why not? Well, it's too far from the village and you. But I'm there every day. Yeah, but you're always busy. You can always take me home at night. Well, I guess that'll have to do until I can think up something better. I shall have my father invite all of you to dinner some night soon. Would you like that? I can hardly wait. <laughs> Anything else, Master? No. Go to bed. Good night, Master. Good night. Fine thing. He knows I'm afraid to be left alone. Oh, I wouldn't think of letting you go home alone. I'll see you home. Well, thank you very much, but wouldn't Sammy like to come along? Oh, no, Sammy wouldn't like to come along. Sammy's tired. Sammy's tired, Sammy's tired. How does he know if I'm tired? Come to think of it, I am a little tired. That you do. It's about time you got home. Lie still where you go to sleep. And cut it out where you go to sleep. Hey, Duke, what's with the Angora patch? you get up here? Come on, you gotta go back to your cage. Come on, Alamona, let's go. Come on, baby, come on. What are you doing with Ramona? What am I doing with Ramona? Are you kidding? I'm upstairs sleeping in my own bed, and very peacefully, mind you. Next thing I know, this is staring me right in the kisser. All things very ambiguous. Take her back in her cage. What? Take her back in her cage. All righty. All right, Ramona. Now it's time to go Betty by. Get into your cage. 
Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to lock me in again. All right, but we'll have none of that tonight. Now what do you want? Oh, you want I should sit down and rock you to sleep, huh? Oh, okay. Come on, Ramona. Up we go. And over. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, cut that out now, Ramona. You gotta go to bed. The cradle will rock. Do I want you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Did I do? Do I need you? Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Boy, what a life. What a moon. Can reach right up and touch it. Well, good night. Sammy in bed? No. Still in the laboratory. In the laboratory? What's he doing in there? <laughs> Putting Ramona to bed. Baby sitting with a gym? This I gotta see. Now you see everything. Good night, Cuckoo. Chief Rock is honored to have great doctor visit his humble abode. And how goes uh, scientific work? Good, I hope. Huh? Oh, yes. Fine, fine. Everything is progressing satisfactorily. That is good. Mm, this is great. Try this. Hey, I like that. Hey, Duke, get a load of that, will ya? Does he sleep with that thing on? <laughs> you eat. Look. I told you 40 times, get out of here, not to feed myself. You gotta eat to grow fat. We, we get out of Get out of here, I know how to eat my own food. Duke, will you make us stop already? Fight your way out of it, kid. She outweighs me. <laughs> Here's the bowl. You get two cents back on it. Let's get this egg. Sammy! 
What are you laughing about? I was just thinking. I had to fall out of a plane to meet you. <laughs> Baby, when we get back to the States, we're going to have a big wedding with all the trimmings. But, darling, my father will probably wish me to be married here with the full tribal ceremony. Okay, okay, we'll get married in a car bond by a motorman, if you want. Just so it's you. This belonged to my...